Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the beautiful add-on known as Grabit. Grabit is made available by the folks at Zane Graphics and we've mentioned this add-on a couple of times and I do know lots of you guys would like to see this add-on in action. So what we're going to do today is take a look at how this add-on actually works and for those who like to follow along and probably you want to get this, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can go through and grab it and start working with it. I would like to say that if you're into animation and probably you like to grab stuff, this add-on will definitely come in very handy. So. To see how this add-on works, we need to pop into Blender. With Blender simply open right here, what we need to do once you have the add-on is go over to Edit, go over to Preference and install it. And once you have it installed, working with this is super easy. If you press N on the keyboard, you would notice that you have Grab. And you can see that we have just three options, which deals with the Grab, Parent and Drop. And that is basically all you need. So the very first example is this. Say we have this right here. I'm just gonna go in, move that to that point. Make sure we have the auto key there and uh, we'll move this all the way to frame. Let's say we'll do frame 20. Okay, so let's just do frame 20, move this to this point and then frame 40, we would also move this all the way back. Perfect. So now that we have this, there's one thing you would notice that if we we'll go through and play the animation, we just have our object moving. This doesn't go with it. So let's believe that this actually needs to pick it up at a certain point and then move it over to another point. How you can get this to work is very simple. We have this object moving from point A and once it gets to this point, for example, we would like these other one to get attached and move with it. So the first things which you need to do is select the parent object, which is this one, and we'll click on the word grab. And once we do that, you'll notice we have a marker and I'm going to select on this other one and click on the word parent. And once we have that ready, you would now see that from this point, nothing happens, but from here, it picks it up and it drops it. So once we get to the point where we want this to drop, we'll select this other object right now and click on the word drop. And once you drop that, you can see that it picks it, it drops it and it goes back pretty easy. And now let's look at this with a proper file, which you'll probably be working with. We do have a couple of examples and I'm just going to go ahead and explain how these things work with the example. So if you take a look at what we have here, we see this hand moving left and right, back and forth, and there is no animation happening with this. So if, for example, we'd like to get something pretty interactive, what we need to do is move this to a point. At this point where the hand grabs, we need to select the controller and click on the word grab and then select this other one and click on the word parent. And I believe you think that this is where it ends. You know, it moves it over to this point and we can click on the word drop. Let's select that object, click on the word drop and we can move it over to another point. Select this other one, click on this controller, grab that, select this, parent it, and you can repeat this for as long as you want. So we can position that there, select this other one, drop it, and we'll move this over to this point one more time, select this object, grab that, select this object, parent that, and you can see. So super easy. At this point, we would also go in and select this object and drop it. So you can see how easy it is. Now, once we press the playback button, you can see a much more interactive movement going on with this. So you can see just with a couple of clicks you have something pretty impressive for your animation. Now with this out of the way, let's look at one more example, which I believe a lot of you guys will find very helpful. So with our scene loaded in here, you can see that we have our Mixamo rig and we have a couple of apples. So if we go in and press the playback, you can see the animation that's supposed to happen, but nothing is happening. So let's see that one more time. You can see nothing is happening. And just like we mentioned before, what you need to do is once you get this object exactly where you want it to be, you can go in at this point we're now looking at joints the previous one we looked at was simple meshes and then we looked at how you can use controllers and the idea is the same select the joint that you want click on the word grab select this other one click on the word parent and that is it and now the next thing which you might be asking is how do you transfer this over to this point because you know once we get over to this point right here and we select the object, so let's just simply go in here and select this object and click on the word drop. Once we get that done, you will see that the apple just uh, floats. So the best thing to do is once you drop this, you need to select on this basket and select it as the grab object, select on this other one and make it the parent. So in that case, you would see that we have that right in and it goes for the right. 
That is super simple. And that is basically how you can go in and start making that sweet, sweet animation that you've always wanted to do and make your object grab stuff super easily. And for those who like to, you know, clear certain stuff, you can notice that right here we have markers. So if I click on the markers, it clears all the markers that we have. And if you click on clear all, all of the keyframes that comes with this, it will proceed to clear all of that. And of course, if you would like to check out this add-on, which will be a huge time saver for you, you can go over to the link in the description where you can check out some of the cool things that the folks at Zen Graphics have made and you can see these things for yourself. And that's about it. For those who like to test this out or probably you want to try it, links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.